It was the first day of school for Desert Sands Unified School District families and the first day of virtual learning was not without some technical difficulties. We will have more on that in just a minute. But first, News Channel 3's Madison Wiles shows us one teacher's home setup and how the district kicked off the new school year. Fifth grade teacher Allison Hodges welcoming her class to the 2021 school year virtually. Good morning, fifth graders. Can you guys hear me? Can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me? Helping them through some initial technical difficulties and explaining how the school day will work. If I say your name, I just want you to unmute and say good morning. She shows us her home teaching setup. She's even added a green screen to be able to change up her backdrop, appearing this morning like she's in a classroom setting. Well, I wanted to engage the kids in meaningful ways, so one of those ways was bringing my classroom to the screen, even though I wasn't physically in the classroom. Hodges says she chose to teach remotely from her home instead of her actual classroom, in part to help her own kids stay on track with distance learning. This is my mic for Zoom. She has a son and daughter, both students within the district. I feel like excited, but I'm also kind of scared a little bit. Her daughter Zoe, a fourth grader. I'm scared if like, what if I mess up on a problem on the first day of school? And her son Damon, beginning sixth grade, each with their own separate study spaces. While the kids say the hardest part is not being with their friends on the first day back, they understand. The positive thing is that at least we're not going close to each other because then we might get the coronavirus. Hodges encouraging parents to support their kids through this process, offering help when possible. Making sure that they know the times that they need to get things done. She says don't hesitate to reach out to your child's teacher directly with any technical issues or questions that come up. Madison Weil, News Channel 3. 